Justin. Yes, PT is by Justin Bieber right there. <laughs> I absolutely love that song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a Tuesday vibe. Right? Yeah. All right, so guys, <laughs> if we make the mistake of being negative, discouraged, grumpy, or sour, we have wasted a day. Well, if you've tuned into the best lunch hour show in Nigeria, you've made the best choice. That's so right. It's our Movies Tuesday, and you know it's never a dull moment spending your day with us as we do what we know how to do best, which is putting a smile on your face <laughs> and brightening up your day. <laughs> yeah, so fasten your seatbelt as we are about to take you on a roller coaster ride in the world of entertainment, especially movies, and of course, some beautiful alternative sounds. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, it is your girl Jala, aka the goddess in the building. You know, you know, you know. Or you can call me the goddess of skills or da la 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 la. <laughs> I'm not thinking about the dollar dollars because, like, who will give you dollars? Yeah, OJ, I mean, was it? Is, no, 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 like, no, no. I was like, how can she choose Mandy, dollars and dollar, then you are yeah. now doing dollars no. too? No, it's Naira Mandi and the, no, it's Mandi oh. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so keep your screw screw to your safe. That's what I'm like. Let me not, let me not do that. So, <laughs> and it's you. All Hi. right, it is your homegirl right here. It is your girlfriend next door. It's the joy in the crown. Mm -hmm. It is honey body. Mm -hmm. It is honeyish money. Mm -hmm. It is honey rapper. Mm -hmm. It is honey on points. It is honey. <laughs> But it is honey piece of four shizu, baby. Uh -uh. Let's do this. Uh -uh. <laughs> on the two pages, on your four. No, 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 no. It's what I say on Tuesday. On because it's Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's too rats. Uh -uh. It's ghetto. Uh -uh. It it's Tuesday, please. Yes, everything is uh -uh. tush. Yeah. You know, oh, it's because it's Tuesday, so yeah. it's tush. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, so my name is Amanda Dara, and love you. Call me Mandy, because of Foladile, yeah. And then we extended it to Mandy Pandy. Mm. And then I told you that this year is about money, so you can call me Mandy Dollars, Mandy Pounds, Mandy Euros, Mandy Forex. Mm. Anything that's money inside. Like, nah. Just be happy to proclaim it into my life. I, I, I said Bitcoin, Thank she you. said no. They said Bitcoin is crashing. So <laughs> it's shaky. <laughs> Ah, right. So when it comes up, we can say exactly, all right. All right, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now, so today's show is as good as it can get because we have the entertainment news, of course. Then celebrity birthday shout out. Then a quick lesson of entertainment history on rewind lined up just for you. We also have where are they now? Somewhere around the corner. While Dala will be taking over social view, giving us our dose of social media craziness. Yep. The fun, however, doesn't end there as one of us will. We'll be chewing it off on the second half of the show. We will also be checking out what you missed on the news recap. While on today's Daily Top 5, we will be talking about five veteran Nollywood female actors who are still irrelevant. Ooh, I want to know what movies and TV shows we recently watched or are currently watching. Then join us as we'll be talking about that. And what better way to wrap it all up than with movies, movies at the movies! movies. <laughs> it's Tuesday, baby. We'll be right back. <laughs> I actually like that. She took me by surprise when she started rapping. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. So I have to okay. look at it like, where's she from again? <laughs> oh, wow. Interesting. And she was giving us the Bunjavi type you of know. a song in the video. I but she, like she bust us some, some <laughs> killer joints. Yeah, yeah, they actually did. I, I actually hope did. that they like it because I, I hope that they don't think that she's wayward. Like, you know how you have a tradition, <laughs> yeah. you have your culture, yeah. and somebody is doing, okay, you know what? I want to be outlawed. So give it, give it to her for breaking the norms. All yep. right. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. It is now time for the entertainment news. First up, we have to tell you that the Wendy Williams show is set to be cancelled in June. Hmm. After 14 seasons, the Wendy Williams show is officially coming to an end in June as there are plans to replace it with the Sherry Shepard talk show. According to sources close to the production crew, Sherry Shepard's deal has been finalized and the Sherry Shepard show, is, which is still a working title, will now replace Wendy's this fall. The source in an exclusive with Love B. Scott stated, the producers informed everyone that the Wendy um, show was being cancelled at the end of June. Then, in the next breath, they hired everyone to work on the new Sherry show. Reports also state that the official Ad Wendy Show Instagram account is no longer under her control as the show executives have been trying to end her show and find a suitable replacement for several years now, but to no avail. Production sources state that Wendy had become somewhat unbearable having tantrums and throwing things at people. 
basically the consensus among the crew is that she didn't want to be there anymore. Her illnesses may have exacerbated that feeling. It's however unclear if Wendy Williams, who has health issues and has been on a break, will make a return to the purple chair before her show ends. Mm -hmm. So I saw this yesterday and my heart broke. <sighs> and why? Because I see it is, it is even beyond, oh, you don't get to watch the show again and all that. Now, Wendy is ill and she's going through a lot. Although the other day, her son interviewed her like it was just a short speech and she was talking. She, she was good. She was um, at the beach and she just, uh, she spoke about coming back, mm -hmm. returning to the show, yeah. which we are all looking forward to. And I think the show is not doing badly because they've been getting different people to host it. Remy Ma sometimes, you know, Remy Ma with Fat Joe, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have Sherry Shepard and all that. And when uh, one day, one of the episodes that um, Sherry Shepard uh, actually anchored, I read the comments on YouTube and I, I saw a lot of, oh, they should give our, our own show already and all that, so, mm -hmm. which is good. They can give our own show. And... Uh, don't forget, Sherry Shepard used to be guest on Wendy Williams' show, yeah. too. And I'm like, okay, so look at this industry. <laughs> there is going to be bad blood. Yeah. Because, yeah, you might have people who you think, because when you talk about creatives, it is not one person. You have people who have attitudes, who have mm -hmm. things they are dealing with. And we are human beings. You have somebody who has done something for a very long time. They are dealing with stuff, and then they can just be behaving in an eccentric way and all that. I, I can see that the world does not even want to wait for that, especially when you're ill and they can't wait for you to come back and, you know, mm -hmm. take, your, take back your throne. Because I'm like, this can actually happen to anybody. Yep. Anybody can be sick and then they say that, oh, you know what, the work you're doing before, we don't want you there again. And, uh, you know, because of that, and then your life just goes down the drain like that and the career that you have built over, uh, you know, the years. I don't even know how to feel about this. Congratulations to Sherry Shepard, but I think that another slot should be given to her, not replacing mm -hmm. uh, our show with Wendy Williams' own mm, or yeah. replacing our own with Wendy yeah, Williams'. Yeah, I definitely agree. It will like cause bad blood because it's a different case if you were just giving us the Sherry Shepard show and it was still the Wendy show. Now, it didn't have to, her success doesn't have to come off somebody's downfall because that's what it now seems like like oh you came to steal my job type energy yes uh, wendy is sick and we were hoping that she would get better and get back to the chair like you said but it's just very sad to know that the show is over i love the wendy williams show. and i do i like how god I, I think that i think you guys are being emotional actually and i think it's because you love wendy which i do as well but i mean when the entertainment industry and mm -hmm. one thing that is for certain in this industry is that the show will go on. The show will With go on. The show the will Wendy go show, on. The Wendy you. show is what not should... going on. Exactly. The Wendy show is it, ending. If Ellen, another if show Ellen the generous show can actually come to an end, mm -hmm. the Wendy show can come to an end. No, no nobody is saying, saying, nobody nobody is saying that, that way. See, nobody is even saying that the Ellen show shouldn't come to an end. But is the Ellen show coming to an end because... Ellen is ill and somebody is coming to take over. But even, even with and Ellen, they had people that were trying to actually do the show. It just didn't work out. They were of course, it couldn't guests. have worked out because it's That is exactly what I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's a business. You're, so still, it's a you're bi still putting emotions into Fantastic. it. Fantastic. I love what that. I'm trying it's to a say, business. What I'm trying to say is that the producers, first of all, they're saying that Wendy Williams has an attitude, right? She's so, making it tough for the, for so the team to work so with her. Just Wait, now I'm not that. done. Wait, okay. come, you guys have been emotional right here. Do you understand? No. So, yes, actually. No. Was it making so, money? It was making money, but it's so not what is the business. Probably, the business. Business. probably not making money anymore. Because I if it was making money, they would not want to put another show. Come on. We're talking about So is she dead? Is she not going to come back? It is what it is. That's wow. why when you're doing something like this, you have to understand that it's like football. You have your season, you reign, and you go. The, the industry is like that. Any other thing, you're just deceiving yourself. It's a... Dog eats dog world. Interesting. In, unfortunately for Wendy, her health is not going well. But what was she going to do with the show forever? At some point, she would have had to retire. And it's just quite okay, unfortunate. Then let her retire. Then let her retire. Let her retire. Let her retire. Now, it seems Willingly. like you're flinging her out of her show. Do you show. know that they have been trying to end the show for years now? Then end it. Then just end it. Don't turn it into a because you can't be here. Well, they I'm can't take somebody else it. and slap her Because the Wendy chair, like... was a huge part of the show, even with her husband as well. So it was a very controversial issue, but 13 seasons for the Wendy show was quite a long time. It's just unfortunate that she's not feeling fine. But if you put in the emotions behind it, that means you want the show to go on for 50 years. No, we're saying... No, no, no. So we're saying end the show 
honorably without drama. It's been a good show so far to not have it end this way. That's what we're mm. saying. Like, it would have been nice if they said, Wendy's not feeling fine. Unfortunately, we can't continue the show. Thank you very much. We love that. Not we're replacing how we, that replacing. Or Wendy is. gives a speech and says, yeah, you know what? Over the years, mm, I appreciate you people. Have been a you have been way. So you understand? Saying, but it just seems like you cool. just said, "Oh, she's not feeling fine. Get out. Let's put somebody." So you else. throw every seems. hard work that somebody has put yeah. into something. You throw it down the drain. Do. What's that? <laughs> okay, let's just move on already. I mean, I do not, I do not believe that the world has to be like that. Yep. Hmm. All right. So Cardi B posted a cryptic tweet after Tasha K said she doesn't have money to pay her. Just when we thought the drama was over between YouTuber Tasha K and rapper Cardi B, I got the infamous line that folks say when you ask them about anything they don't have, especially money because a chorus becomes a chorus Cardi B sued Tasha K in 2019 after the vlogger made various false allegations against her, including that she was a prostitute who had hippies and abused drugs. The court found Tasha K liable for defamation, invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress on January the 24th, 2022. The rapper may now have to wait a while for money because during a recent interview, the YouTuber was asked about paying the $3.8 million she was ordered to hand over to Cardi B. Tasha K replied, I ain't got it, listen, I ain't got it, I ain't got it. Don't ask me for no money. I ain't got it. But listen, we have business things in place that takes care of all things like this. But of course, the appellate court and the Supreme Court is in process right now. Referring to our appeal, she stated she'd been filing. She continued, all trying to pay $4 million. When asked about our YouTube checks, she replied, it's good, but I got two children. After the interview video went viral online, Cardi B took to Twitter with a cryptic message writing, Think it's a game, but trust, I'm a come for everything, BBHMM. Although she did not spell out what she was abbreviating, many were quick to offer a translation. The tweet came with a gif of Rihanna's bleep, better have, <laughs> better have my money, or BBHMM as the acronym goes. So I saw, I actually saw the video, and she's like, when it was an interview, and they were asking her, so, um, so what are you going to do about the money that you have to pay? She's like, mm. I ain't got it. And she was like, she's not even Nonchalant. Being, mm. Like, she's very Attitude. unbothered. Yeah. She's like, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. How am I supposed to pay that? Because I got two children. I ain't got it. And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> we pay this money. You'll pay this money. Because the court has said, you're going to pay. Uh, so how am I think you're going to be able to find the money to pay it? And I love Cardi's energy. P P H M. You get better have that money, girl. Yeah. Because, I mean, she talks so much it's a, smack about Cardi, mm -hmm. saying she had herpes, saying she was abusing drugs, mm -hmm. saying she was, ah, uh, no, as in every episode, you literally come out, hi, this is Tati K today on Cardi B. I'm like, allow her breathe. So I like that <laughs> this is happening. And I absolutely love it. It's cute. just more like, be careful what you say. Be yeah. careful what you use your mouth to open down and talk. Because at the end of the day, it has repercussions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if you're talking about someone, have your facts. Even if you want to troll the person, have your facts. Mm -hmm. So that if the person takes you to court, you can say, but yo, what I'm saying Reason is true. It. And even at the end of the day, the person can still take you to court. Defamation of character. Yeah. Defamation yeah. of character. Yeah. So is it really worth it? So you have two children. You didn't know that before. When you, Because out of the YouTube, she was probably getting paid for those videos, mm -hmm. making views. So you got to find that money. So. You find the money. If, Cardi so not if she was even... like she's working for Cardi hmm. B. Because... So the thing is, if she was <laughs> saying that, if she was if she was doing all that, and then right now she is like, oh, so you can pity and, and then you can sympathize no. and all that. I understand, but that attitude of, no, you know what, are. I ain't got it. <laughs> she, I ain't got it. Okay, <laughs> you will I get it. it. Ah, she was laughing. <laughs> oh, I ain't got it. <laughs> interesting. You are not watching the video, like, it's me, we pay this money. <laughs> this I really think she's going to pay it. the money at the end of the No, time. it's not thing she has No, she will. <laughs> we want to see how that unfolds. I'm looking forward to the next thing she says, because mm. Cardi B seems to have gone for her. Yes, but well, anyways, that's all we can take <laughs> on the entertainment news. It is now time for Charity Birthday shout out. In, alphabet in alphabetical order, rather, today's celebrants are the following people. The first on our list is Adesua Etomi Wellington, who is a year older today. She is an award-winning actress that has made some good achievement for herself. She has starred in several films and TV series, as well as appearing on stage plays. 
And of course, she is the wife of the beautiful Bank. Mrs. W. w. Yeah, I <laughs> love the picture she posted. Um, yep. I think Adesua has been showing us different sides to her. Mm -hmm. um, interesting that she brought out the singing side to her yeah. uh, recently. Then the, it's almost like we're seeing pastoral wives vibe too. <laughs> They're in the mix, but actually, uh, starred in many films. Absolutely adorable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, Banky always has the sweetest words for mm -hmm. Alisa. How he's like, oh, when you find your half and I was just like, well, just come and learn lyrics here for babe because oh, yeah. Alice. <laughs> They actually absolutely adore each other. It's yep. so cute. <laughs> All right, happy birthday to her. We also have Afiz and Yola, who is also celebrating today. He is a prominent Yoruba actor, screenwriter, and producer in Nollywood. Mm. Happy birthday to him. Happy. I mean, these people put in a lot, do you understand? You know, because, uh, you know, in the contemporary world, some people might not, oh, who is this person? But then they are very popular. When you very. go on Instagram mm. and you see the followers these mm -hmm. people have, like millions, and you're like, okay, okay. People are following, people are yes. watching, definitely. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We also have Drew Barrymore, who is 47 today. The American actress, director, producer, businesswoman, and talk show host is a recipient of numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and even a BAFTA nomination. She achieved fame as a child actress with her role in E.T., The Extraterrestrial. She has gone on to feature in films such as Charlie's Angels, Never Been Kissed, Batman, Forever, Scream, Blended, amongst many others. Talk about versatility. That's Charlie's why. Angels. Yes. yes. <laughs> For me, it's the fact that she's a her. producer, a talk show host, an actress, you know. <laughs> You can yes. be a lot of things. You can I be a it. lot Happy of birthday. things. Happy birthday. We also have Hadiza Abubakar, who is also celebrating today. She is a Nollywood actress model who has acted in several Yoruba speaking Nollywood films. Mm. Oh, that's a really pretty picture of her, by the way. Absolutely. Ooh, we love gorgeous her. smile, yeah. mommy. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yes. <laughs> we also have James Blunt, who is 48 today. The English singer, songwriter, musician, and record producer is popular for songs such as You're Beautiful, You're Beautiful, <laughs> It's True, and Goodbye, My Lover. Yeah, my love, 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 love. Sometimes Happy you just birthday. sing a song and you don't know it's going to take you to places, and that was That's You're right. Beautiful for That's James right. just took me back to the secondary school. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, I saw Go your face. face. In a, in a crowded crowd place. place. <laughs> All right, happy birthday, happy birthday to James Blonde. We also have Thomas Jane, who is 53 today. <laughs> he is an American actor known for appearing in films such as Boogie Nights, Deep Blue Sea, The Punisher, The Mist, Mutant Chronicles, 1922, The Predator, and many others. The mm. Predator. For you. <laughs> yeah, so if you're into like alien type movies, mm, definitely mm. check that out. Deep Blue Sea, um, it was like a shark type coming to eat yeah. people. He likes all those things. Yeah, but <laughs> someone who shall be perishing <laughs> in the film. We absolutely love him. Fantastic actor. All wow. right, happy birthday. We also have our very own Wale. Wale, Wale, Wale. Wale. Yes, who is 32 today. He is a Nigerian stand-up comedian and actor known for his distinctive style of comedy. Hmm. Yeah, and I think he was actually in the office uh, maybe yes. two Friday, weeks was last ago? Friday. Or was last yeah, Friday. last Yeah, because I know I saw him in the office and I was like, oh, what is he doing here? Well, absolutely love him. Friend of the house. His family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Sweetheart, very funny and annoying. Annoying, and I think annoying. one thing one must know because <laughs> I know that uh, when I was on radio, I used to come through for me. Like, I'm like, I need... Please yeah. come on the show, yeah. and then it comes to the show. And then when it comes, because the show I had on radio, it wasn't like entertainment, entertainment. It was mm -hmm. something that you had to like, you know, uh, read about and mm -hmm. talk about and sometimes. So sometimes all these things actually come to the fore, and you say that this person is not only funny, this mm -hmm. person is actually brilliant. Yes. Like, you know. It, I think it, it has a it very distinct that, personality. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Happy birthday to him. We also have Yetunde Wumi, who is 62 today. A 
Sana Taiwo Akinwande, popularly known as Yetunde Wumi, is a veteran Nollywood film and TV actress. For over three decades, the actress has enjoyed tremendous popularity and earned a name for herself in the Yoruba movie industry. That's mm. right. Happy birthday to her. Uh, she's done a lot. Interesting to, to see her real name. It's so yeah. different from yeah. her. I'm like, okay. I think people got to know her real name one time. She had issues with NDREA. Mm -hmm. And then it's okay. All okay. right. <laughs> I was saying happy birthday to everybody celebrating yes. today. We love it. It's such a beautiful time to be alive. That's so special. Right. And just believe in yourself and keep trusting God. Yes, the creator and the universe. <sighs> Hallelujah! And things will fall in line. With all the numbers yes. scrolling across your screen, you can drop your tight tower Sister, frame. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, how about that? Thank you. <laughs> oh, all right, guys, let's go straight to the time machine on Rewind, where we get a quick history lesson on what happened in the world of entertainment on this day. Watch, 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 watch this. Let's rewind. On this day in 2009, Heath Ledger posthumously wins Academy Award Best Supporting Actor for his performance as the Joker in The Dark Knight. And in 2009, still on this day at the 81st Academy Awards, Slumdog Millionaire Sean Penn and Kate Winslet win. Finally, in 2017, on this day, Jay-Z becomes the first rapper to be inducted into Songwriters Hall of Fame alongside Max Martin, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. Oh my Man, God, Lots of interesting things happen on the same day. Barack Obama, Jay-Z. Wow, look at that. It must have been a very special... Actually, today is very special. <laughs> yes, it's yes, 22... 22 or 2, 2022. 20, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and then, and then they start, start, they checking the stars. Yes, if you are awake at 2.22 today, so it would have been 2.22 on 20, oh, wow. 22 or 2.20, 20, what? Ha! Interesting. <laughs> Think about it. Something is happening today. Think. Yes. All right. In the meantime, it is time for Where Are They Now? Take a look at who has been missing in action. It's Where Are They Now? Alfonso Ribeiro. Alfonso is an American actor and television personality who in the 90s became Carlton Banks, one of the most prominent characters in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and was ever present for the six seasons that aired between 1990 and 1996. He also played Alfonso Spears on the sitcom Silver Spoons and Maxwell Staten on In the House. After his television breakthrough, he recorded the singles Dance Baby, Not Too Young to Fall in Love, Sneak Away with Me and Time Bomb. But acting was his big dream. Aside from him hosting the GSN game show Catch 21, the ABC family show Spell Magadan, and the television show Dance 360, he also starred in the title role of the Broadway musical The Tap Dance Kid and took part in the 13th season of the British reality show I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. Alfonso dabbled into directing at some point as he was in charge of some episodes of Meet the Browns and a majority of the season 2 episodes of the Are We There Yet? television series. In 2013, Ribeiro went under the radar, although he was still participating in the TV series Dancing with the Stars, which he won the season 19 of with professional partner Whitney Carson. By 2021, after a long acting break, Alfonso starred in a series of commercials and also voiced the character Fred in Muppet Haunted Mansion TV special. He is the current host of ABC's America's Funniest Home Videos, replacing Tom Bergeron, who left after 15 years. Being black isn't what I'm trying to be, it's what I am. Now you know where they are now. I really, wow. really, 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 ah. really, really like that. One day we learn how to pronounce love. All right, guys, welcome to Social Veil. It is time to check out all the humor and savagery happening on social media. That's right. All right, uh, Bad Ranga here on Twitter is saying, thinking about this. So somebody's asking, where were you born, do? And then the reply is, I was born in Somalia. And then he asks again, which part? And then he reply, what do you mean, which part? My whole body was born in Somalia. I'm so stressed. 
Well, hmm. so you know what this I don't thing, know what to say. Let me tell you what this reminds me of. Um, so there was a challenge that they did on Instagram a couple of days ago, and then they said, send this to your partner. So you send, if beauty was a crime, you'll be innocent. To see your partner like you. And people mm. are saying, oh my God, wow, thank you. And I'm like, <laughs> if beauty was a crime, you'll be innocent. Meaning that you You are it. now very cute. So a lot of people, they are chats. They say my whole is body very... was born in some, wow. Like, which part? Oh, I was born in this part? Of... <laughs> Honey, but I refuse to say anything because you're speechless. <laughs> All right, this little kitty right here is uh, me deciding between being fit or being happy. Mm. It's choco. So looking at the burger like this, Honey, but which one do you eventually pick, fit or happy? Happy, Abby. <laughs> Mandy? It's being fit and happy. Uh, so right. we can divide that burger into two, then jog. Okay, me and be happy while I'm being fit. <laughs> <laughs> so me, like, Take it like that. after eating everything, I you console not myself by drinking apple cider. Wow. wow. Abu Sada is your <laughs> calorie burner. I think, I think burner. I'll try it. So it looks like he's working for Calorie burner. It all okay. depends on your body. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Z on the score. Z. <laughs> Zazu. It's saying, <laughs> how you go to squat with person and you go to wake him up for morning devotion? Yes. Well. So, no, there's no explanation. So, Mandy, you are disturbing me. You are squatting, number one. You are being for convenience me, and then you are now waking me up for morning <sighs> devotion. I think it's a matter. Who bewitched you? You don't want God no. to be part of your... The first day you do it, I warn you. Second day you do it, you move out. <laughs> What's like... this, Seth? You don't want if God to be part of your if environment. You if you don't My move time, out that man. first day, no, if you don't move out that first day, it will remain small. Like so it will remain small. So they're encouraging you to good habits. That's fine. When I wake <laughs> up, we can do morning devotion. <laughs> Our morning devotion time is always very early. Oh, the time is five. It's going to be dark, but with Hi. small light. I will just ask you one question. I will tell you whether God sent you to me and he said that he's not comfortable with my life. As because in... what? <laughs> because <laughs> what? Some people that are squatting do the most, sure, but okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is something that um, Honeypot can do. <laughs> Say, me as a lawyer, then you in court now. I'm sure it's even this guy that is putting hand like this. <laughs> Say, Your Honor, how much will you pay me? Make I tell you everything when my clients tell me. <laughs> Honeypot, you can do it. Because it's so just last no, kind of lawyer. That I'm <laughs> <It's laughs> <I can't. laughs> interested. I don't do it. <laughs> no, but wait. So, you're, so I, I, I actually. Clap for lawyers that know that somebody killed somebody and said, don't worry, we'll find a way to get you out of it. Because mm. my conscience will not allow me. I'll say, no, you, you, you kill somebody. Me. Let's just beg for time for you. I <laughs> said that I'll be defending you, but in the middle, I'll say, but let let's be objective. That's why you know when you say you're yeah, a lawyer, you have to be very sure. Like, do you have heart? No, you me, have I'm that conscience. That's what I could not do. And he said, my father wanted me to do law. This me. Because mm -hmm. I would just say, hey, 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 you are even shouting too much. I, uh, judge, please. So he said that, but you would claim it. <laughs> no, I can't. Don't try it. Just stick with what you are doing. Oh, have you seen inventing, Anna? How she frustrated a lawyer? <laughs> Do you know that I, I've, I've not watched it yet? Watch yes, it. No, you need, you need yeah. to see it. I'm and when I saw it. that it was serious, like, mm. I'm like, oh. I said she frustrated a lawyer. At one point, the guy off he off to his stand, he shouted the parade for her. But I think there is always a moment between the client <laughs> yes, and, and the lawyer. lawyer. Mm. Yeah. No, this one, the moment was she wanted to appear fashionable in court. So she knew like the outfit that he brought. <laughs> Imagine that. I need to be telling another thing. No, don't spoil it. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. right. Go on, go and watch it. All right, so <laughs> they said, me as a marriage counselor, have you tried another man? Hmm. But I think this is valid advice. It is. Yes, because if you try, so you not marry. Yes. So not if you try another man, you may now see that your husband is not as bad as you think. Gala, cover this, your face. See, this is why I'm on TV. That's why I don't take all these jobs because. And I hope people are not listening to you. Please do not leave it. Don't listen to us. Gala, please cover your face already. <laughs> what? All those people that like breakfast. <laughs> ah. This guy must. And be you know that this generation, you they can they must not hear what you said because they are woke. <laughs> they should go and try it now, man. Concern. <laughs> No, gather your house together. Can't they? Can't your marriage cancel or meet me? <laughs> Whoa. All right, so this one here is saying Nigerian interpretation of make hay while the sun shines. Oh is iron your clothes immediately, <laughs> Nepa brings light. Yes. And that was exactly what I did to this outfit yesterday. Immediately. Oh. Immediately, like this. I said, what? Apart from this one. Plug your phone. Ah, so I don't understand people that your phone will be on two percent that they'll be pressing it with confidence. You, you and don't I'm know like, that you know, you So are. with plug your phone, you can still use other things to charge your phone. But right. with iron, because you know that yes. sometimes you don't even want to use your iron with your, your gen, gen or something. Mm. So iron. 
Mm. Fast. Or mm. warm or warm food. God bless you. <laughs> you're not even I'm telling you, can you can just use hear. It. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, I hate it. All right. <laughs> Big Daddy in the building with some wisdom saying, He who collects his own <laughs> is that how he talks? <laughs> he who collects his own clothes from the tailor at due time must have lied about the day he would wear it. Mm. Think about it. Wisdom. Wisdom from the elders. It's something that he can say along those lines. But you know, have you clothes or tailor it? Have you some deeper some things? Some deeper. Yes. They will not say. He, he who they will has write left the ash okay. They will write the year. <laughs> they will write the year. It's George that they this use. This thing that I don't know they call this red cap. That's no, yeah. but, but wait. Why do tailors do this thing? Like, if you know you cannot sew this cloth in time. Why don't you just say, I cannot make it in time? I don't know. Or oh, this is I the day I can't try like, an error. You know what I'm saying? I go do up. This time, I say, be so I'm now. They want to bring the cloth. Now be like, yeah, why no umbrella? Because. But it's getting better now. It's now. actually getting yeah. better. It's actually getting because better. Because people always tell them the wrong date of the day to collect the cloth. Yeah. <laughs> it like, feels like it's better. Okay. Hmm. All right. Perhaps. Yes. Uh, but there are some emergency ones. All right. Yeah, like emergency. <laughs> okay, so this is a very evil laugh. This kind of laugh that makes laugh when I've done bad thing. But let's see what's happening here. You say, just imagine going to hell with the tattoo, I love you, Jesus. One day, Equensu got a Pia Gi. Who is he, boy? So I, 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 I wish that somebody no, could translate this. No, I don't want to. Equensu got a Pia Gi. Water, water. Water, water. water. <laughs> Uh, well, it funny, so though. basically, it's like uh, I, I love you, Jesus. You now reach heaven, and you still you didn't reach heaven. You reach hell. So are you now saying that everybody that has that tattoo tat is uh, going to? Dala has a lot of tattoos. Yes. Yay! So it's the same like I'm dragging suitcase. So uh, does that devil will beat you very well? So if all people in the building uh, will believe that this means that devil will beat you. What 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 what? Very well, very well. well. What 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 what? Will we'll beat you very well. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. So uh, people, I, I want to believe it's not the tattoo that caused this. Okay, so you see this tattoo argument. You know, actually Google it randomly yesterday. I didn't even know I'll see this today. And I realized they said that people that wear mixed fabrics as well are going to hell. <laughs> So uh, when you don't, they wear wool. You don't, you don't well, wear. If you follow that, then earring and all of that. So do you understand that plus tattoo plus everything? Are we we're, in the same? We're all just going to this stand in a This person was trying queue. to be sharp. <laughs> he was thinking that God was going to look at the outside and say, "Ah, ah, I love you, Jesus was there." But the other was very dirty. <laughs> all right, um, Nana Kwa here, and this she looks like a Ghanaian, saying, "Stop wearing wristwatches that are not." Walking. I thought you were supposed to be walking. I thought you were supposed to be walking. Then Caleb is giving, I thought the drip was timeless. Yes. So, pa this is perfect. It. I do not wear wristwatches. It's wrist all timeless. Watches. I do not wear wristwatches. My drip is timeless. Forget that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? You think check that wristwatch where the lad they wear. See. It will be At upside down. <laughs> See. So, let me explain. When you ask me. wristwatch is jewelry. When you even ask me what is the time, I go to my phone. Exactly. Number two, you are also not going to ask me what's the time because you have phone. Exactly. So darling, we wear wristwatches. But guess what? Do you know that I don't wear wristwatches. Not that, but mm. somehow I just don't wear wristwatches because yeah, I feel like there are other yeah. things mm. and all that. Because I really do not like it when watches don't work. Mm. Ah, but then I feel you. that there are other things that can actually give you. Do you know cheap. that? Honey, pot, I cannot remember last time what watch that was working. Do you know that when I buy watch, watches like this, see, right? See, when, I, when I buy watch, no, it's not the battery is gone. When I buy watch, you know how you first set it. I know wow. they set anything. I put them for one like this. Go away. Did, did it not go well? God. <laughs> okay, um, another <laughs> advice. Saying, if relationship is not working for you, try other shits. Like entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. partnership, mm -hmm. or internship. Mm -hmm. If they fail, please do what? Wash yes, it. Yes, now, think about it. Not everybody crying in church is in the mood of worship. Sometimes it's heartbreak. Yes, I said what Shilo, I said. Shiloh 2022. I said what I said. So, so it is not for worshiping God for who he is, it is worshiping God for your problems. So that's what they said. I think you're in a foreign country. country. So that's what they said. If you're in a foreign country, you worship God for who he is, not what you want. <laughs> so there are many ships here entrepreneurship, if it's not what you want, God can help you heal your heart. Any ship. The church is for broken people at yes. the end of the day. Yes. <laughs> Different things break people. <laughs> All right, Papa the Lamb here saying, Nigerian moms will make you wear what they want and assure you that you look very good, only for you to step out looking like Josh too funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they would have mind you. Okay, okay so, like, I'm looking so fine. So let me say this, so and I'm sure good. my father is watching, but at this point in time, <laughs> I don't old past Kane. 
Do you know that it's the days that my father will say, oh, you look nice. I feel like something's wrong with my outfit. <laughs> What is all oh, the all oh, the girls you look nice? I'm like <laughs> it's like I'll go change because if I did this clothes, so he likes all those like when I wear long dresses. Uh, like this one now, I'm sure that he'll be like, oh, very like when you very or the days we have family functions, mm. and then I think that I have chosen the most decent, decent of my clothes, and my mother is saying. Why does this one have long hand and this one have short one? And I'm like, you have a problem with this. I say, you cannot follow me to church like this. And I'm like, why? <laughs> well, I'm but all Nigerian parents are on this I'm thing. No, you, but I you see that just too funny one. It was even when we were small, they were wear us anything. Girl, I saw like, can grow I saw into some it. baby pictures. I'm like, <laughs> like that, like that picture of Davido's lawyer that's holding bottles so that his suit is just hanging. <laughs> Guys, and that is it on the first half of the freshest show on entertainment. Mm -hmm. But not to worry, we have more where that came from. Still to come, we have Chew It Off, the entertainment news recap, daily top five, and what are you watching? And of course, movies at the movies. So see you guys soon. Yes, we gave you a word and we are keeping it. Welcome back to the second half of E-Splash. Another bundle of goodness is coming your way. But first, it is time for Chew It Off. Time for us to actually, rather, one of us to let out some steam and let us know what is bothering her. I'm good. I'm not good. Yes. <laughs> what do you? Okay, so I'm going off my... Um, I said it on uh, Daily Top 5, like I just hinted, but yes, please, people should learn how to apologize when you realize that you've done something wrong. I don't think it's hard. So um, I actually know somebody that says, <laughs> me, I don't know how to apologize to people, though. Like, oh, so, but you want people to apologize to you, <laughs> fantastic. We'll hang ourselves there. Um, this is coming off the Navy guy that hit my car okay. Ooh. at the mall. Yeah. So I was in the car with my friend, and then, so my friend was like, I think this person hit your car. So in my mind, I was like, oh, think maybe he didn't because I would have felt it. I was parked, so he was reversing to, mm -hmm. to drive out. And then, um, <clears throat> so the guy comes out from his car with Koboko. Ah, after hitting your car? Yes. Ah. So, so my friend was like, oh, that I think he actually hit your car because there's a mark here. But I was like, I didn't feel it. I mean, I was already waiting in the car. Like, I'm taking my shoes off. So by the time I wore my shoes and everything came down, the guy, I just saw him walking back with the Koboko and entering his car and driving off. And then I saw that he actually did hit the car because there's a scratch, like one long scratch. And in my mind, I'm like, how hard would it have been to say, oh, I'm sorry, I hit your car? Now, uh, my friend that was in the car was like, oh, he was probably drunk, but I don't think that's excuse enough. That's one. Another day, I remember I was driving home, and then there was this guy that was swerving, changing lanes, moving mad. I could see him in my rearview mirror, but I was like, he shall not near me. So somehow he drove up to me and then hit my car. <clears throat> I didn't say anything at first. I just wound down, and then I just did my hand out of the window, like, what was the problem? It was in the night, maybe around 11. So me, I was even expecting him to just do, oh, sorry, or something. And then I saw him do like this. <laughs> I just, <laughs> and blocked the road, bah, and I came down. And I saw that the scratch was actually worse than I thought. Mm. Like, it was a proper, <laughs> we ended up in police station that night. It was the next morning, he said, I'm sorry. I said, it's too late. Because if he had just done, I would yes, have driven now. to my house and now seen the thing later yes. and said, he paid for it too. That's good. He counted his money. So a lot of times, I think people, you, you can avoid a lot of things by just saying, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It honestly really doesn't take anything, especially when you know that you've messed up. Like, it shouldn't be too hard to just say, oh, I'm so sorry that I said something that offended you. Or I'm so sorry about ego. I don't know why people, like... I think, I think my, theory, my theory is that a lot of bad <coughs> habits start from when you're small, where you're yeah. growing up. And I think it also has to do with um, kind of upbringing you have, where mm -hmm. even your parents do something bad to you, and they, and they can't say I'm they're sorry. sorry. Yes, yes. So you now start to feel like, hey, am I not your father? Am I not your mother? And I have that kind of personality yeah. where if you are older, you feel like you can bully uh, a younger person. If you're a man, you feel mm -hmm. you can bully a woman. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's where those things stem from. Yeah. But it's, as you said, it's so unnecessary and it's just a show of insecurity mm. and baseless ego because it doesn't take anything from you to say i'm sorry and you can't you see now you have to count his money it so it, it costs you a lot <laughs> I, I've, act, I've actually hit mm. someone because the other day i was very weak and tired and i actually hit someone in front of me and the person came out with so much anger like, actually me, i was no, looking very you, good no, at you, no, you, you have what, <laughs> but, no, no, you. but at the same yeah, we time we on you is it we on number you number one pretty no, privilege no, I'm not two, two well two, yes 
show. I'm gonna don't even bring your mouth in this one. At the end of the day, I still said I'm sorry. But guess what? She's she told me this thing before. Guess what my mother did? As she came down, she started smiling like that's why I said she has coffee face. Yes, sir. You smile, but see, it works. If you ask me, I'm giving you a free. Ha. I just I was like, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. I'm actually. They're like, the guy's face went from hmm to <laughs> it's okay. Like, this crap is not that bad. <laughs> so I truly agree. Yeah. I really, I don't find it difficult to say I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And people would have thought that it is me that would find it <laughs> impossible to. I mean, I I do not hesitate, especially when people talk to me. And I think people who know me very well know this. Even when I come with the facade of you know what. Mm -hmm. I still process it and I'm like, oh, and I talk to myself and I, so I think it is what people should do. Like, even at the, in that moment, when you think that, okay, maybe I didn't do, think about it. And if you think that you have actually wronged that person. Yeah. It takes nothing from you. It takes nothing. It takes nothing. It takes nothing. nothing. And if I know that I've not done anything wrong, ah, ah we die dead. <laughs> we perish on the spot. <laughs> we perish but then, they don't, they don't, don't teach it often. It. They talk about the five magic words. It looks like a, yeah. a, a, a rhyme. Please, thank but it you. works. Please, yeah. sorry, thank, thank you. you. You know, all those things, they work. Try Excuse it out. Excuse me. But mm -hmm. people don't go on, yeah, what? People just don't have that no, manners. etiquette, manners. They don't have it. And I think that it is one thing that one, especially when you are, when you're a parent, you are raising children. Mm -hmm. Because I say it all the time that parenting is relative and everything boils down to family. Family yeah. is the bedrock of the society. So some people have actually trained their children in the, in the worst way and then they have given the children to the society mm -hmm. and they are constituting nuisance. Yep. They are badly behaved and oh, all that. Resistance. Parents should do better. I said, yes. the person that will try it, <laughs> I will just carry my bag like this and hang it on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll press you because, like, it's actually annoying. Maybe because he thought, like, he was a Navy person. So, mm. like, he can. He, he's very mm -hmm. lucky that me, by the time I wear a shoe and he don't already the drive, or even, <laughs> I mean, I'm not okay. <laughs> we'll scatter everywhere. <laughs> but say no to violence, guys. Yes, oh please. Yes, God. please. Don't mind that. Don't follow that. Don't follow that. I don't want that. I'm on 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 that. I'm I ah, get because ah, they're not here. Ah, me, I know the year was. Don't follow me. All right. All right I don't know whether you should follow me, Sha. Yeah, don't follow me. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't do you. All right, get it right for you guys. It's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news in case you missed it. Now, we told you that the Wendy Williams show is set to be cancelled in June. Ooh. Yes, and we also told you Cardi B posts cryptic tweets after Tasha K says she doesn't have money to pay her. All right, guys, we are going to be back, and we'll be back with Baby Top 5. Yes, welcome back. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, so over the years, <laughs> Nollywood has experienced tremendous growth, and new faces have emerged from the industry. Now, like the saying, soldier go, soldier come, that is not the case for some Nollywood oldies who have proved that age and time only make things better. These veteran Nollywood stars have explored the industry as they have continued to put in the work, which in turn still puts them in our faces. Today, we'll be talking about five veteran Nollywood female actors who are still relevant. Why? Because this is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Watch me. Yes, the first on our list is Tinamba, and Tinamba has enjoyed a lengthy career both on stage and on screen. She has landed the well-written roles, and she has interpreted them appropriately. Unlike her peers, Tinamba has remained relevant and selective of her movies and roles. She has starred in several blockbuster movies lately, such as Okafor's Law, Insuken, The Setup, Omogeto, The Saga, Bread and Life, Prophetess, amongst many others. Mm. Yeah, it's a range for me because one day she can be giving you like cute, exotic, and then mm -hmm. they give you all oh, well, get to now, yeah. buddy. So it's just the way she can like just jump between characters. I absolutely love. And actually, so it's no surprises. I think her recent roles have been very selective because mm -hmm. they have also been like A-list movies. Mm. So it's almost like she's gotten to the stage where she's like, you know what? I'm just gonna pick and choose what I want well, to yeah. be a part of, and I like that about her. Mm, yeah. All right. So let's move on to Mama Rainbow. The veteran actress is famous for her stereotypical character role as a mother, mother-in-law, or grandmother. She started her acting career in the 90s as she has appeared in numerous English and Yoruba Nollywood movies. 
There's no doubt a force to reckon with as far as the Yoruba movie industry and Nollywood is concerned. And yes, Mama Rainbow is still very relevant to your date, which is the reason she still works with Buddha Brown. Mm -hmm. Like the wedding love, party. Love, 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 so it was, love, it was a facial love. expression for me. And it's in like, ah, which way we food are people sharing here? And the way you're trying to run into it. Like, absolutely love her. Yeah. I love Mama Rainbow. I love that. Uh, of course, we talked about the brand and all that. So it's, uh, it's really fantastic that somebody who even has the Yoruba background mm -hmm. and you know like like they can still be relevant and they can still use them for all of this commercial yes beautiful yes and I think she also kills it every single time every, she brings yes. it every time yes every time. all right so, now we have to talk about the very own Joke Silva now since the early 90s Joke Silva has made a name for herself in film and TV she has maintained a tireless work ethic as she is easily one of the most talented veteran actresses in Nollywood, being relevant to be an understatement as she has starred in several big movies, some of which include Chief Daddy 1 and 2, The Setup, Namaste Wahala, The Royal Hibiscus Hotel, Citation, Light in the Dark, La Femme, Angela, The Wade, amongst many, 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 many Ooh, she killed. She killed her role yeah. in Chief Daddy. Yes, she, she killed. She, yep. she was giving us the. I don't. What was the widow got sweet? I'm still watching. We trying to collect money in this house. I like. <laughs> I like. I just love watching her. Um, so on stage in movies, mm -hmm. she she. You know that she studies her character. So yes. Uh, so the thing is, you can't take away the fact that Joker Silva actually studied this. Yes. So um, there is a difference. Mm -hmm. You know, when you talk about people who went to school to study, she this. studied it. She yep. studied. She so studied her character. Me, when she's acting, you know that yeah, this person. And is when you see honest. her, when you interview her um, personally, she has her own personality. Yeah. You don't. You don't see like okay, oh that character in the film. Mm -hmm. You know, some people bring their personalities into movies, but yeah. she knows how to have a distinct. So it's almost like the day I was interviewing her, I was like, why is she not smiling? Yeah. She's like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, she, gives, she gives you class. I mean, she's it's putting the so work. Classy. She's, uh -huh. she's so classy. She's so giving you. Wow. But is it where she can still give you the? Oh my God! I'm so. Uh, I'm so uh, relieved. Uh, I'm somebody like, saw at an event and said, "Oh, Auntie Joker, I like your bag." And she asked the driver to go and give the bag, emptied what was inside, and look at that. Oh, that is so sweet. sweet. <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm not saying that when you see her, you say I like yeah. your yeah. wristwatch. I'm going to be back in. Yeah. No. Oh, um, all right. So let's talk about Shalash Bowali. The Nollywood movie star can be described as not only a veteran, but a pioneer in the modern day Nigerian movie industry. She started with the movie Sura the Taylor. Thereafter, she featured in Village Headmaster, Mirror in the Sun, and had a big break with O oh Father, O oh Daughter, popularly known as Toyin Tomato, a super story drama series. She took a break for a while, but came back like she never left, and she has shown that Real talent doesn't age. It's hard to mention biggest movies since 2016 without Shola Shobowali being featured on any. It's obvious all by herself is not going anywhere anytime soon. Hmm. Hmm. So it's, it's the way you can give us Yoruba, you can still give us English, mm -hmm. and then you're now killing it on both. Like, I watched King of Boys and I was like, I don't think anybody else could have been Oba. Like, I can't mentally put anybody and say, yeah, okay, this person goes, it was the way her facial expressions, and that's what it is for me. Mm -hmm. The way she gives mm -hmm. you the, ah, oh, mm -hmm. I got. There's, like, there's, there's, mm -hmm. there's a look. There's a, yeah, like, there's so much power when she's acting. Jola Shobo Ali has always been fierce. She yes. comes with a lot of energy. That's the word. That I, yes. have, that I think that sometimes when you want to cast her, you don't really want to put her in certain, like, you don't want to put her or give her a certain role because you just... Now, I'm not talking about being typecast right now, mm -hmm. but you just want something that will make her shine mm -hmm. yes. because of the energy that she carries, she exhumes and all that. Well, or I even know about movies she wasn't even before. meant to shine. She will still shine, whether you like it or not. Like, yeah, you so you... So wherever you, you put her, she's going to shine. It's not... One thing I love is that, I mean, before, like, she came back in 2016, she mm -hmm. was being known to be, like, funny, the toying tomato, yeah. all of that, like... No, she was being known to be... But now with King of Boys, Ooh. we saw a different side to her that Ooh. I absolutely like. And I think that we have to actually acknowledge that yeah. she was able to bring us. She did a lot of work in that. And too. in the midst of that, yes. have you ever seen Shola Shabawali act the role that she has to persuade someone? Mm. And maybe she's selling something and uh, ah, era, era. Even in <laughs> that alone, I'm like. 
<laughs> you know how you say somebody is fierce and the person is not saying... Oh, she no. is fierce and, she and is. absolutely yes. talented. Yeah, now, love. the fifth person on our list is Patience Ozokwa. Now, this <laughs> list can't be complete without our very own Mama G. She has been a household name since forever and she's one of the veteran actresses in Hollywood who is still reigning and, of course, famous for her stereotype character as the wicked mother-in-law. <laughs> she is considered one of the pioneers of Nollywood with an acting portfolio of over two decades. She has starred in various blockbuster movies even till date. Now, this is one stereotype that I love it. Like, um, <laughs> every time, I think, uh, like, twice, I've seen mm -hmm. her in movies where she was kind. It's like... No, yeah, like uh, no. like Chief Daddy, Chief like, Daddy, when she was Beverly's mom, what's and all she was this? saying, ah, what's going on? I was like, no, we need wickedness. Uh, Who's wickedness? It's like, <laughs> how can we all love her uh, for wickedness? Uh, that's true. Uh, put something, sprinkle something. Uh, 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 she, she, I mean, she's been in the industry for a very long time. I remember growing up watching her, and I used to think that, how oh, God, is this how mother-in-law used to do every time? Like, she made... She made it seem so real. So scary, actually. But ah. it just shows how she was able to live a character, build it, and mm -hmm. bring breathe love. life into love. it. Yes. Love. Love. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. That is all we can take on a Daily Top 5. What are you watching? It's coming up next. Do not go anywhere. <laughs>
I, I just watched it. Mm, and then... Um, were you pressed when you saw it? Were you angry? <laughs> was I angry? Oh, you had seen different reviews before you went to watch it. Yeah, I think it. I was prepped, mentally prepped for watching okay. it. So I, I don't know if I'll see actors in the film, because I'm not sure those were their real names. Yeah. But it was focusing majorly ar around um, Simon. <laughs> if we have, let's say, 100k in our accounts, we can spend 20k on him. Um, for me to even go and look for the guy, I went to follow him on Instagram. He's there, oh, Simon Levy. So he was in, he was in yeah. a Ferrari, uh, Fer I think it was a Ferrari store, I think maybe this week. He's so been, somebody took hey! a picture of him. I said, whose money is he using <laughs> now? Hey! Like through the glass, like paparazzi type. Yeah, yeah very what interesting. What country was he in? I don't even know. I think like, he's now in Israel he's, or something. No. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and he has a girlfriend. Whoa, oh, he'll he, be all right. That's what I watched too. So what are you watching? Okay, um, so the movie that I watched is called Intrusion. Okay. Um, I don't know who sent me. What is it? Psycho I think I want to watch 5. it. I like all these psychological See, thrillers. you just be like, you know, mm. you're like... <laughs> So it's actually looking like one movie that we watched before, but I've forgotten the mm. title what happened? now. What happened at the end? Uh, so we discovered that it was another person, like that one that they do soul traveling. You remember yes. that movie? What's that movie? Yes. I, I can't remember. remember. Oh, I can't remember, but left, we saw it. She left, she left the Yes, yes. And then we about. discovered that it was another <laughs> oh, person. No, this was not what happened, but all right. All right. Uh, there you have it with our choices. Let's go on a quick break. And when we return, we'll be taking your calls as well as reading your messages as you will be sharing with us what movie or TV shows you recently watched, what you liked about your choice, who acted in it, and most importantly, your rating over 10. Let's do this. Like it doesn't exist. Uh, 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 let's wax an album. Ah. But no, but Sia, Sia actually oh, stressed us with that one. Like, you just get to that shandy no. music. Sia I, is I'm the like... one person that you should just leave in our lane. Oh, like, yeah. don't even don't try, try to... You know, but then on the good side of it, people learned how to pronounce chandelier. Chandelier? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, a lot of people didn't know how yeah. to pronounce what is chandelier, chandelier before. Chandelier. chandelier. That thing there, they glow, yeah. they drop. <laughs> no, no, so, no, it wasn't as bad. What? I can't, no, Sarek. No, no, no. Lamp. I have not had lamp yeah. before. <laughs> Hanging lamp. <laughs> lamp. <laughs> so the big lamp. lamp. <laughs> wow. All, right. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. It's now time for us to actually get your calls and read your messages. Uh, right about now, I'll be going to Facebook to mm -hmm. see what you guys are currently watching. And mm -hmm. this is from Margaret Adedoni. He says, good afternoon, guys. You all are looking good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm currently watching Tale of the Nine-Tailed. Mm. It's an amazing Korean series about a nine-tailed fox, Yumi Ho, that waited for 1,000 years to meet a human that he fell in love with, but fate had other things in store for him. It's a very interesting movie. It's funny, 100% mystery, and really romantic. I uh, rated 7 over 10. This sounds like Naruto. I don't know if mm -hmm. you guys watch Naruto, but it sounds like it. Anyways, Larry K. Grace is saying, the auction, the movie is about a very arrogant music star, and he was about losing his fans and some sponsors, so the only option for him was to date a random girl. Go watch it. I really like it. Hashtag East Fashion TVC. You all are doing a good job. Thank you. All right. All right. So on Twitter, I've got MJ Adams who says, I am i can't wait to see the movie Death on the Nile 2022. Having a vivid memory of the novel, I can't help to wonder if the movie will really satisfy my curiosity and give a well depiction of story as imagined from the novel. All right, so you're not telling us what you're watching. You're just telling us that you can't wait to watch something. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got Afan Kian. Afan says, I'm currently watching Hannah, a series. Okay, so this one is just Hannah. All right, Ahmed Shwahibu here says, good afternoon, guys. I'm currently watching Killeen Salza. Uh, is, it's, an, um, it's a Hollywood movie. I'll now rate it 8 over 10. Now, yeah. the first person who was even rating here. Um, Case Quay says, all of us are dead. All, all of, of us, us are not are dead. dead, dead Jesus. Not dead in the name of Jesus but Christ. But I've seen it and I, and I absolutely love <laughs> it. Nigerian people. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> all right, so we have Farida Ize Abdul Malik saying, War Princesses is actually a Korean movie. It's about a lady who was hated by her stepmom, and all means for them to kill her failed. Why? Because people die in her place for her to complete a mission, which is a to bring her stepmom down. Her husband even died for her. It was so touching. I rated 9 over 10 because the husband died at 
Ladies, you all look pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have Solomon Springfield saying, good afternoon, guys. The series I currently watched is All of Us Are Dead. We will not be dead in Jesus' name. <laughs> it's a zombie movie, and the whole apocalypse started in a school. The science teacher created the virus to make his son, who has been bullied in school, stronger. But things turn awkward when it becomes something else. It's a great series, and I rate it 10 over 10. Um, Samson Adewale Olumorin saying, good afternoon, ladies. Watching Attraction 2 Invasion. One of the best movies I have seen this year. I rated 10 over 10. Y'all should check it out. The problem is you did not tell us what the movie is about. Mm -hmm. You just said 10 over 10, and I'm like, mm, I don't know. So definitely um, tell us what the movie is about when you send in your mm -hmm. messages. Thank you. All right. So we have Vanessa Umfumba who is saying, Hi, Splash. I'm currently watching A Week Away. It's a musical, and I'll rate it 10 over 10. You people are really giving out your 10 over 10. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then Tomiwa Abimbola is saying, Good afternoon, East Splash. So the movie I recently watched is Doctor Romantic, season one and two. It's a Korean series, and I'll rate it 9 over 10. And then Precious Chukudi is saying, Good afternoon, I'm watching One of Us is Lying, where <laughs> five students are brought together by detention and one of them dies, and the other are, are suspects. Funny, funny enough, they all have motives because the guy that died has a blog where he posts everyone's secrets. Oh, wow. And I'll rate it 7 out of 10 since I'm still watching it. Hashtag East Slash and TVC. Man, y'all are looking beautiful. I actually wow, saw this as a recommendation. You, you did? Of uh, this particular movie. But now that this pressure is talking about it, I'm actually going to go check it out. Mm -hmm. Right. So I well, like all of us are lying. One of us, one of us, one of one of us is, is lying. lying. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it actually sounds all like... All of us are dead. <laughs> one of us is lying. <laughs> all right, so we've got uh, Dayeba here, who says, Sue, and uh, well, nothing to that. I, I wonder why you people on Twitter just do this. Just rate now and tell us a <laughs> bit about it. Uh, I priest is here saying all of us are dead. We're not dead. What, what kind of film is this one? You haven't seen it? I'm not okay. seen it too. No, you should. It's a zombie apocalypse uh, movie that is like the, all the students start becoming zombies and then it spreads out from. If I tell you this, my mom about no, this movie, you change the name. You say all of us are living. <laughs> yes, all of us. I shall not care about it. You should see it. You will love it. <laughs> Oluwa Fatima says a series, two strings attached. Now, you did not tell us you're not rating, you're not doing anything. Ah, <laughs> Twitter people, what's up now? I know your Deji here says, if you have Coco First Love, you're not rating. You didn't tell ah. us about it. How are we supposed to know hmm. whether it's interesting or not? You're not even suggesting to us in any way. Okay. Um, I have this one from Favor, and she's saying that I'll go watch this one. So let me see. Um, hi, guys. Y'all are looking nice. Thank you. I currently watched the, the Librarian, Curse of Judas Chalice. This is a long read. The 2008 American movie starring Noah, Noah Wiles, Stanley Katik, and Bruce Davidson, the story of a librarian who has ups and downs in relationship due to his over-dedication to work. He then decides to travel to New Orleans for a vacation and at the same time answer a mysterious calling. There he meets a French singer who is literally the woman of his dreams. They drink, dance, and sleep together before he discovers that she's entangled in the mystery he's assigned to solve. She discloses that she's the guardian of a key to access to Judas Chalice that is capable of reviving vampires. Okay, you had me at vampires because so far I'm just like, this ain't my type of movie. I know. Because they're vampires, I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, the former Russian Minister of Defense is seeking the chalice to revive Vlad the vampire with the support of Professor Laszlo, um, also to raise an army of the undead. You had me at undead. Mm. Yes. To bring uh, Russia back to the top of the world. As the mystery unfolds, the librarian discovers that her dream girl is also a vampire. Okay, I'm going to screenshot this. I'm going to watch it because she say it's an 8.5 mm. over 10. But if I don't like it, favor, I'm coming back for you. Mm. Uh, then we have Godwin Emmanuel saying, um, watching Crossroads in Hollywood movie. No rating, no explanation, no epos now. Thanks and God bless. Hmm. So can we take more? Yes, we can. Okay, we can. so Farida is a Abdul Malik is saying, War Princesses is actually a Korean movie, and it's about a lady who was hated by her stepmom, mm -hmm. and all means for them to kill her failed because uh, people died in her place for her to accomplish her mission, which is to bring her stepmom down. Her husband even died for her. It was so touching. Aww. I don't want to watch this film. Aww. It's a Korean film. It's rated 9 over 10, and why? Because the husband died. Why are you so evil? I bet the husband hurried her. <laughs> all right, Flawless Blaze <laughs> is here. Saying, I'm currently watching The Witcher. It's about Geralt of Rivera, a solitary monster hunter. People have me at words like monster, yeah, vampire, yeah. undead. You're <laughs> weird. Who struggles to find his place in the world where people of who prove more wicked than monsters and beasts. Um, Geralt of Rivera is a witcher, a mutant with special powers who kills monsters for money. I rate 7 over 10, still on season 1. And um, I've actually seen this one. Mm. And
and it's a fantasy type. It's just okay. Yes, I will give it a seven over ten. Well, seven, seven, seven over ten. I think. Okay. This is chill. Eddie Grams is saying I just finished watching Exit Benefits hashtag E Splash on TVC. Mokhtar Haruna Jibril saying watching Al Salan, a Turkish TV series. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. All right, guys. We're going to go on a quick break, and when we come back, uh, we'll still be on. What are you watching? Okay, just do the one way you serve, you know, key yourself, yes. okay? Ah. <laughs> mm. All right, so I so said we're still here. We've been talking about the movies that we've been watching. Yes, and a lot of people yeah. actually watching that. So all of us are ah, dead. Yes, <laughs> apparently. But now they've abbreviated it to A-O-U-A-D. Mm. Because we yeah, don't, they don't want, want to, call to be it. saying all of us <laughs> are dead. They don't want to call it all of us are dead. But I think we can take maybe just one more. Yeah, um, I've got this message. on okay. uh, Twitter. Evans Jackson says, par, book, par ghost, and says... Book E, so I'm wondering what the... Yeah, so you know that power is the one that had Ghost, and then when, when Ghost died, so mm. now it's his son that's like the main, mm. so that one is now Power Book. It's very... Wow, you would know these things. <laughs> <laughs> if, only, if only I knew my school book, like... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right, so wanted to know um, something. No, I think that, that's actually all we can take. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, so you know we've always got you covered. So if you're planning on going to the cinemas this week, we say thank you for sharing with us. Mm -hmm. Here are some movies you should consider. It's time for Movies at the Movies. movies. In Nollywood, Bloodhound. This is a story of a grieving father seeking justice for the murder of his only son by two dangerous criminals known in the society, while the police chief tries his best to bring the notorious gang to justice. There are some bad eggs in the force that are working for their selfish reasons. Actors include Wale Ojo, Efe Irele, Abayomi Alvin, Belinda Efa, Eddie Watson, and others. I hear them bomb you. How do we find a lead when we don't even have any record of them anywhere? I have my playground. Then I see this Murphy King with my other friends. Mm -hmm. I've been able to find the murderers of my. Now that picking for me. Uh -huh. Sometimes you gotta be like, have you ever seen another be your picking? Uh -huh. I swear, I like it. Wally yes. Joe, Belinda Effa, mm -hmm. like this is, this is, this seems like it'll be a very interesting movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like. Definitely. All right, in Hollywood, Marry Me, music superstars Kat Valdez and Bastian are getting married before a global audience of fans. But when Kat learns seconds before her vows that Bastian has been unfaithful, she decides to marry Charlie, a stranger in the crowd instead. What? Actors include <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, Owen Wilson, Maluma, John Bradley, Sarah Silverman, Chloe Coleman, and others. All right, let's do it again for Marry me, marry me, say yes. Marry me, marry me, say yes. The spontaneity of the moment. For me, it I is it. don't let this pretty <gasps> wedding dress waste. So please, yes, you, you say in the yes, crowd, I'll, I'll marry, marry you. you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just laughing like, like a crazy person here. I, I want to watch it. So this is so it's things like this that yes, it's not horrible. It's things like this that make me want to watch because I'm like, how did you randomly pick somebody in the crowd? You don't know if they married you. Don't, you don't say yes, I'll marry you. I'll marry you. And then I took on stage. I said okay. Well, it was the okay game for me. Uh, so not. Yes. I mean, oh, look at what he has in front of him. Like, yeah. Who said no to okay. that? So like now, so like now, make like Rihanna just this stage, just point. Uh, point uh, OJ. OJ will now. Say marry me. If I hear. Yeah. Let's leave it. <laughs> All right. Still in Hollywood, we have black light. So Travis Block is a government operative coming to terms with his shadowy past. When he discovers a plot targeting U.S. citizens, Block finds himself in the crosshairs of the FBI director he once helped protect. Actors include one of my favorites, Liam Neeson, Aidan Quinn, Taylor John Smith, Emmy Raver Lampman, Claire Von de Boom, Yale Stone, Andrew Shaw, and others. One day you wake up and realize you're not sure who the good guys are anymore. I love, I love Niamh yeah. Nisim. Like, I love the way he talks. If I find out that you had anything, anything to do with my family. <laughs> oh, well, you, 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 you really suck to be on the wrong side. Yeah. Niamh mm -hmm. yeah, gone. That's right. I, I think that people who like action will like that one. Mm -hmm. It has guns, cars throwing, falling all over the place. You like action, right? Yeah. So, so. Um, you know, my movie is 
Faith is very questionable. This voice and then he, you, like you have your favorite person there. <laughs> All well, these John Wick films, well, they used to stress me. But they don't stress me. I, I, no, I, I, I enjoy it. it. I enjoy it. You see, I enjoy you see, it. see that's why I'm not. I might like uh, marry me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let me know what's happening. No, you let want people like to kill 10 people. I love wow. marry me too, but then I like them. <laughs> It's balance, yes, baby, balance. That is the reason why we are diverse people, right? Yeah, and we have right. different things we <laughs> want. Right. And uh, right. obviously, if you're going to the movies, you choose the one that you want. And we mm -hmm. hope that we have made your choice a little bit easier. Yeah. Yes, it is now time for us to go, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. Mm -hmm. I think Tuesday gives you a very bougie, chilled, chilled vibe. And we hope we brought that to you. It has <laughs> been your girl, Amanda Dara. Jeez. Of course, Honey Shmoney is in the building. And da la 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 la. Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. In the meantime, have a lovely afternoon. Mwah!